Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 30th through May 3rd. So guys, let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Cancers, please, Spirit? What love messages, what clarity, what guidance do we have here for my Cancers, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what love messages, what clarity and guidance do we have here for my Cancers, please? April 30th through May 3rd, please, Holy Spirit. All right, my loves. So guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun. Okay, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when... Um, the winners are announced, okay? So, my loves, I am still only taking emergency readings. Guys, just to clarify, I am not backed up. I just don't want to take any more readings because I'm already like a month out. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't want to take any more readings until I catch up. But I, I'm not backed up. I don't believe anybody's getting their readings late, okay? Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Oh, and just so that you know, underneath in the description box is where you would find the link to book an emergency reading if it's an emergency. And, um, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff down there. My Instagram link, uh, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, everything is down there, okay? Um, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started here with your pre-shuffle message. So, Cancer, I feel that there was a situation that happened here where you separated from somebody, okay? And you could not get this person out of your head. Like the pain, the betrayal that this person brought to you was bad. It was bad, I'm not gonna lie. Now, Cancer, this could be vice versa. You could have, you know, brought it to, to somebody else. You could have hurt somebody else, okay? Um, but I feel like someone here got hurt really, really bad. Okay. Now here, this person comes, they're going to come in, you're going to get a message. Okay. Your first, you know, um, thought here is going to be like your heart drops like, Oh my God. Yes, they're here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're back. Right. But then I feel you, you come into this realization that this person, um, you know, maybe they take advantage of you. Maybe they lie. Maybe they steal. Maybe they cheat, whatever it is that they're bound to. This person is up to no good. OK, this person is up to no good. And I feel that you're starting to realize here that no matter how much you love this person, that no matter how much you love this person. Um, that they're not going to be honest with you. I just picked up a whole nother download here. Wow, I, that just hit me like out of nowhere. I just picked up a whole nother story here. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to see which way the tarot goes with this. All right, for some of you, you have someone, just like I said, you have someone hitting you up, but you just don't know if you could trust them. You don't know if you want to move forward with this person. Now, this is a very specific message. Uh, this may resonate with one or two people. But what I'm getting here is that you may have someone coming in um, telling you about their karmic justice on how they got hurt after they left you. So this person left you in pain. Okay. I, I just can't even believe the audacity of what I'm hearing here, but this is the download that I picked up. So I don't know what the tower is going to pull out. If it's going to be the first download or the second, Th this is the problem with general readings. You know, we, we pick up so many different messages. So some come in more stronger than others. And that's what we roll with. Right. But this one, just as I was telling you about the pre shuffle message, it's like spirit just like ran in and like this whole different story. So this person is going to come in and tell you about how they got played after playing you. OK, so they left you stuck in your head, in pain, hurting. Right. And now they're coming in telling you about how, you know, the third party hurt them and that how they're cutting them off. And now they want to move forward with you. And I, I just like I, I don't know. Let's see where the tarot takes this. You know, under the deck, we have um, the Queen of Cups. There you are, Cancer, sitting in your throne. And I love how like, you know, the Queen of Cups normally 
in any other tarot deck, she's looking down because she's a very nurturing, kind, loving queen, right? So she's looking down at her cup in a loving manner, nurturing it. And now look at that. It's almost like you're sitting there holding a cup of wine, looking down at this person. Oh, really? Like, is that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like you're looking down at this person. Like, what a face. Do you see her eyes? Like, do you guys see that? How she's like, She's pissed and hurt on the inside, which generally isn't the energy of the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very caring, kind, nurturing, but it almost looks like to her face, like she's just, her eyes look hurt and she's looking down, like, you know what I'm saying? Almost with a sense of satisfaction of what she's hearing, you know? All right, so let's let's get some energy here. Let's see what's, ha let's see what's happening. You like that? What's happening? All right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Envy. Envy. Okay. So, yeah, see, this person may have left you, um, th this person hurts you. Okay, they made you very jealous. They made you very envious. Maybe they literally like went off with a third party, was posting pictures online. Like they hurt you. They were very deceitful. They caused a lot of envy. They caused a lot of pain. Yeah, they looked at other possibilities. They were looking at other people. Fourth chakra. Yeah, this person really messed up your heart space, okay? This person really messed up your heart space. This person really did a number. You know, I, I have to say, I've almost called. I want to pull like one of these. Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers, please? What clarity and guidance? What messages do we have for my cancers, please? You know what I think I'm actually going to do? I'm going to do it this way. Let's put one here and one here. Okay. All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So we have somebody coming in wanting reconciliation. Okay. And now here we have past life relationship. You have known each other before and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings interesting. Okay. So we have someone that is in love. It's like has true love. Okay. Has somebody coming back wanting reconciliation cancer. I don't know why I feel like this might be your side. And then we have this person here from the past that moved on to new love. And maybe now they're wanting to come back to reconcile. Okay. So let's see what we have. Let's see what the tarot says here. So we have the chariot cancerian energy. Making a move towards victory. We have the emperor. No. What is four? Yeah, the emperor. No, I'm right. Aries Taurus energy. Aries Taurus energy. And we have the knight of wands. Leo Sag Aries energy. So guys, I feel like someone here fell hell, head over. I was about to say hell over heels. It probably has been hell over heels, but head over heels in love. Okay. Someone here has this, um, amazing way we could be dealing with strong Aries here possibly, uh, or another Cancerian. Um, but I feel that this person has this amazing ability to kind of put off like this, um, stable, grounded in control player, sexy type of energy. You just fell head over heels for this person. Okay. Head over heels for this person. Um, now we have here the four of swords. We have the strength card, Leo energy. And we have the world. So this person is coming in now here with under reconciliation. I feel like this person took a little break. They took a little vacation here with that four of swords. Okay. With that strength card, they pulled back. They pulled back. And with the, the world card, they made you believe that this maybe was really over is what I'm feeling. Like they totally pulled back all their passion, all that emotion that they used to show you, they reined it in. Okay. But now they're coming back wanting this reconciliation. But the sad part is, is that they made you feel like this was really over with that world card. They really made you feel like this was over. I feel like you may have been in a little bit of a depressive state over this with that four of swords, very heavy, very upset over this, having to, having to tame what you wanted to say. Maybe you wanted to talk to this person. Maybe you wanted to tell this person how you felt, but you held back because you're like, no, they really left for good. It's over. Okay. Um, and now for another thing I'm seeing here is that a lot of you may have felt like this was moving forward victoriously towards a committed energy. And then this person just took off with that, you know, knight of wands, that player energy there. So let's see what we have here. So we've got past life relationship. 
We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I'm getting so strong Aries in this reading, guys. Um, we've got the Ace of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups. So here we have this King of Wands now that's that's coming to an awakening. They're coming to a certain truth and they're realizing either a spiritual connection here. They're awakening and realizing a spiritual connection or they're awakening and, and realizing what it is that they truly want. Okay. So here under new love, we have the Page of Cups. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And we have the Five of Cups. But I, the second download was right. Okay. So the second message that I got was right, guys. So this person moved on to new love. Okay. They saw something that they liked. They moved on to new love. They started talking to this person. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we've got a, Li a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and then the five of cups. So this person saw something that they liked. They rushed towards it. But the problem is, is that this person was a knight of, of swords energy. So this person was very, this new person, this third party person was very in and out. This person came in and left them right out. Five of cups, dumped them right on their butt, right? So what this person did to you happened to them. And I feel that for many of you, this person may be coming in telling you about this. I mean, the audacity, right? Like, I don't know why, like, I feel like this person may actually come back and be like, yeah, I left you for someone else, but then they dumped me, you know, like, like they may actually come back and tell you about this. Okay. Um, yeah, this person just totally with that Knight of Swords and that Five of Cups, it's like they were talking, everything was fine, and then boom, this person just got ghosted, they got left behind, you know what I'm saying? They regret making this decision. They're definitely regretting making this decision to go that they went towards new love, and that is, you know... This is such a, a fate. I can't stop looking at this. This is such a face of satisfaction. And look, we've got the tower under the deck. Okay, the tower under the deck. So th there's going to be this huge tower, this huge shocking revelation that's going to happen here. And you're just going to love it. I mean, I hate, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, cancer, whoever here got hurt is just going to like, smile you know i'm getting like a you know the grinch movie when he's got that ear to ear smile like it's just gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty awesome all right so let's see what we have going on here guys spirit tell me about the chariot please tell me about the chariot please holy spirit angel spirits and guides the seven of swords okay so yeah see you thought this connection was moving forward in victory and instead this person just kind of i feel like they didn't just run off and cheat on you. This person robbed you of like your dream. Like this person robbed you of hope. This person robbed you of love. Like this person robbed you of that peace of mind. You understand? Because the chariot is all about, okay, we're, we have a goal for the future. We're going, we're doing, you know, you, you love this person. You thought it was going somewhere. And then they just like, they took it. Not only do you, are you dealing with the pain of cheating, but you're dealing with the pain of like being robbed of your happiness, your joy, your peace, your future. Tell me about the emperor, please. We've got the eight of pentacles. Yeah. You, you really thought that this was going to work. You thought that you guys were both working on the same goal. You thought that you guys were going to be committed that, you know, and then this person took off. Tell me about this knight of wands, please, spirit. The hermit, Virgo energy. It's like they just disappeared. They just, I'm out. You know, they just pulled back. Okay. Gave up on the connection completely here. Tell me about the four of swords. We have the five of pentacles. You see someone here got ghosted. Someone here is feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold. Tell me about the strength card, please, spirit. Yeah, someone here, what did I say? Someone here really wanted to communicate. Cancer, I feel like you really wanted to talk to this person. You really wanted to tell them how you were feeling, but you held back because this person made you feel like it was over. You're like, where the hell did they go? You know? Yeah, the chariot, Cancerian energy. Um, like this person, you have the chariot going towards them, thinking that this was going to be good. But now you're realizing that this person shut the door on you and they're going off on their chariot with somebody else. Give me one more on the chariot, please. Yeah, Ten of Swords. You feel like this person just left you behind, stabbed you in the back. And I mean, you feel like this is over, over. Okay, Cancer, like over, over. Spirit, tell me about this um, King of Wands, please, Spirit. We have the world. Yeah, and, and that's, you're not wrong for feeling that way because that King of Wands really did shut the door like it's over, over. Okay, tell me about this uh, world card. The high priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. Okay. This person had secrets. They're not speaking. They stopped talking. They stopped speaking like all together. They just ghosted. Tell me about this ace of swords, please, spirit. The 10 of wands. Okay. So I feel like this person, um, 
you know, they spoke their truth. They're just giving up on the connection here. There you are, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me one more. Give me one more on this King of Wands. Temperance. Yeah, they just walked away without a care in the world. Like they didn't care about anything. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. We have the Hanged Man. Okay. So they enjoyed almost with that Nine of Cups kind of leaving you on hold. Leaving you on hold. Tell me about this Hanged Man. We've got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they enjoyed with that Nine of Cups. It's like they kind of um, wanted to hurt you. They kind of wanted, I don't know why, but they kind of wanted to like leave you on uh like on hold they kind of wanted to watch you suffer they wanted you to know that look i could walk away from you anytime i want i don't really care that much but you see look at what just popped out the five of swords and the uh wheel of fortune for playing these mind games this person's about to pay quite the price tell me about these this uh page of cups please we have the four of sword, uh, four of cups here, guys. So look at this. We've got four plus one equals five. So they started talking to somebody that then rejected their offer and their love, leading to this five of cups here. Okay, tell me about this knight of swords, please, spirit. The queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. So this person may have presented themselves as a queen, okay, um, and then just dipped off like the knight of swords. You know, they may have made promises. They may have, um, you know, they may have presented themselves as something that they're not because the, this went for, they went from a queen to the knight of swords. Tell me more about this queen of swords. The Justice card, Libra Energy. So strong Libra here. This person, look at that karmic justice. This person was karmic. This this person was payback for what they did to you. Okay, tell me about this Justice card. Queen of Cups. There you are, Cancer. This person is your car. And how can I put this the right way? This person is a karmic for the person that left you behind. So the way this person hurt you, they're gonna get hurt now by this person. And I think that spirit wanted to make it clear because they, they just dropped you right there on justice. This is your justice. What this person is gonna put your, your person through, the person that left you through is, is the same thing, okay? Tell me about the five of cups here, please, spirit. Tell me about the five of cups. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, your person thought that this was their happily ever after. Now, this person may have actually been mar married. This Libra energy here, this Queen of Swords, she, you know, she, he may have actually been married, okay? Two of Wands. Yeah, and they distance themselves because, you know, they may have been married. They have, may have been in a committed relationship with the Four of Swords. See, look, so this person here, your person, distanced themselves and left you on, on hold, left you to die, left you to, you know, depressed or whatever. And that's what this person is doing to your person. Give me one more on that Four of Swords, please. Yeah, the devil. Karmic justice. Look at this. The devil and the justice card. Karmic justice, Capricorn energy. So you see, and now I feel, what's funny here is I feel like you're single. You're here minding your own business, Okay. There you are, that nine of pentacles pre-empress. Here you are now minding your own business, all healed and everything. And this person is coming in to tell you about the third party. This, this is what I felt. Like they're coming in. You're minding your freaking business. Like just da 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 Going shopping, doing this. All healed, ready to go. You're good. And here they come telling you all about what this person did to them. And you're like, um what <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what like this person's gonna come out of freaking nowhere wanting a second chance with you like a freaking hurricane you know what i'm saying but they're looking for you because they're hurt they're looking for you because they got butt hurt and they're coming back like a wounded puppy do you understand and look at this is you and there's that you and that tower okay you and that tower and look we have the death card here, scorpionic energy, change. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> change, that's major, the, the, like major, the, this situation is going to transform majorly. So Cancers, listen, Linda, listen. If you're in this energy right now where you're feeling down and out and hurt because somebody really, really hurt you because they went towards a third party, trust and believe that you're going to get yours. Just wait. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the Oracle. <clears throat> we've got courage and we've got back and forth yet. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I just kind of want to say like this person has a real set of 
blank, <laughs> okay? Because it, it takes a real set of, you know what I'm saying? To, to they, they left, they went to the third party and now they're coming back, back and forth. Like, you know what I'm saying? That takes like, what did I say when I started this reading? Like the audacity, like, are you kidding me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you left, you went, you got screwed over and now you're coming back to tell me about it? Like, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just want to say those words, like the really, the, the you know, mm, oh my gosh. Yeah, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Yeah, th this person needs to wake up and see the truth. And I feel like they're coming back. This, this fell right on top of back and forth. They're coming back to you to tell you the truth. That's the crazy part. Like they've got no shame. Like they're coming back to tell you and cry at your feet. <gasps> I went to this person and they hurt me and this, this and that. Like, oh my God, really? Like, are you kidding me right now? So let's see here. So we've got milestone and we've got stuck energy. So yeah, you see, you you were in that chariot mode. You thought this was going somewhere and boom, stuck. You know what I'm saying? You're just kind of stuck in your head about this person. You're hurt. Like, how did this happen? You know, and then we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Good job, Cancer. When this person comes back to tell you all their woos, girl, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. That's you uh okay then well i'm happy that you're begging at my feet but no second chances only sorry you know what i'm saying sorry not sorry oh my lanza all right let's see here so the challenge that we have here is the lover's card this was a very deep soulmate connection okay uh, but somebody here got tempted what's crossing this is new love somebody here got tempted with new love gemini energy okay now here we have the six of swords and the five of pentacles. So now here they are, they left you and they got their butt hurt here. Okay. They got their butt hurt here and they're crying to you about this. Now guys, I have to be honest with you. Okay. I, I just picked up on something. I just got another hit here. So I feel this falls on top of stuck energy. Okay. And honestly, this is the energy that I'm feeling here. I feel like you're stuck on the fact that this relationship is over. Like this person really closed the door on you. So you didn't see it coming back together again. I'm not really sure when this person crawls back, if you're going to say no, I have to be honest there because I just noticed this as I was shuffling these cards, you know, you're over here, heartbroken feeling that they left and that there's no hope for this connection anymore. And it fell on stuck energy. So you're kind of stuck on the fact that this is never coming back together again. But at the same time, you really wanted this person with milestone, that chariot, that emperor, and you're still stuck on them. Okay. You're still stuck on them. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about this five of pentacles, the lover's card. Yeah. You're, you're, you're very hurt. You're very hurt that this person um, put you in a third party. Tell me about this six of swords, the emperor. Yeah, this is this is your emperor, the empress. You know what I'm saying? This is the person that you see as the one cancer, okay? Six of swords. Yeah, and they're coming back. You know, I feel like you didn't think that they were ever going to come back, but it's coming. It's coming. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take this into an extended. Um let's see what's going to happen when they come back let's see if you're going to take them back if you guys are going to be able to get over this if they're ever going to do this to you again okay if they're going to learn their lesson if they're ever going to leave you like this again because this is painful this is painful cancer okay um so let's see if this person now that they got butt hurt over here let's see if they're going to change their their attitude and if they're they're going to come in to be the emperor that you need them to be or the empress that you need them to be okay so let's see what's going on the link for the extended will be in the description box below it will also be in the comment section i love you guys please stay safe bye